Um, got another video here today. I thought I'd do one on um, the Night Owl Productions EC Zombie uh, Sculpted and Finished by Justin Mabry. And this is it. Um, I love this thing. I've had this since 2004. Um, I ordered it from Justin. This is way before he was with Trick or Treat. When it was just Night Owl Productions. And um, you can get this one on Trick or Treat's uh, website. And it's called the it's called Cragmore, and it's got a different paint scheme. Um, this was he only did like a limited run of these back when Night Owl. Um, it wasn't even actually on the site. Um, he just put it up on the in the forums at the time, and you could uh, order it. But, uh, it was more of a gray, kind of bluish gray. But I got a brown variant done, and um, I'm not sure how many of these he did this color, but I just think it's awesome. And um, so, it's inspired by uh, EC Comics, an old Tales from the Crypt cover. So, um, I thought I'd show the mask and then show, you know, I don't have that many, but show my 70s uh, reissues of some old Tales from the Crypt and EC Comics magazine, the comics I have. But um, this is the East uh, Night Owl Productions EC Zombie by Justin Mabry. And the sculpt is just phenomenal. Um, He's got, in the, on the cover, he likes busting through a street, so he's got the brick, like the little rocks and stuff, cement, that's awesome. And uh, it's just a really good sculpt. Awesome mask. Nice chest piece. And the thing I love about it the most is the um, collarbone, like uh, shoulder blades in the back. It's just awesome. But yeah, I've had this one for a while. I just never, never put this one up, so that'd be a cool video to do. Definitely a, one of my favorite masks in my collection. I love, I love the shoulder blades and the, and the, and the, ch and the chest blades that he did. I just think the brown really. I don't know. I like the other version he did too, but and some of the hairs come off over the years, but I kind of like the scraggly look. I kind of like it's dwindled down to nothing. It's more decayed. Mm. It's very awesome. I love this thing. Uh, like I said, you can still get this um, um, on the Trick or Treat Studios uh, website called called Craigmore, Cragmore, but um. This one, of course, is uh, was handmade and independent before Trick or Treat, so it's way thicker, probably a better paint job, but it's still, the one I've seen, um, i never seen any ones in their collection, but the one I've seen on their side still looks pretty cool, though, but, um, anyway, get a couple of shots of this, I'll take some other pictures of it on the side to put at the end of the video, but I love that on top of the head, too. Okay, all right, well, that's the mask, and I'll just show these real quick. These are all the 70s reissues of the EC Comics, and um, first up, I got, these are Tales from the Crypt 1 through 4, issues 1 through 4. These are the reissues from the 50s they did in the 70s. But this issue 1, issue 2, issue 3. Issue 4, one of my favorite covers. So cool. Then we got one of their other titles, The Haunt of Fear. Graham Ingalls cover. It's awesome. Um, Crime Suspense Stories. This is the cover that actually got, got them uh, in trouble in the 50s. Um, William Gaines had to go before, like, commission, all the stuff, and Basically, the comic code started because of DC Comics. Um, and they had the Weird Science title. Got two Weird Sciences. And they also had the Shock Suspense um, title. And on all, all these titles, too, if you look on the old show, the Tales from the Crypt show on HBO, um, it's called Tales from the Crypt, but if you look, like, you know, where the story was taken from during the title sequence, 
And they took them from Haunt of Fear, Vault of Horror, Shock Suspense Stories, Crime Suspense, all the titles. So that's cool. And these are the bigger, uh, I really don't, I should know, but I don't know why they did these, but they made these bigger ones in the 70s too. And, um, and it actually has two covers, like, which is very cool. And they did, this is probably my favorite one, the Crime Suspense Stories, that cover. It's cool. I love it. These are fun reads. And then a big weird science. Dual cover also. And this one's weird. Um, it, it's the only EC comic, um, one of the titles that's not horror. It's, uh, it, they did some war ones. It's uh, called Two Fisted Tales and uh, Civil, Civil War Stories. Pretty cool. Oh, there you go. Anyway, that's, you know, that's all I have as far as the EC comics. Um, but I just want to show those. Show the EC, EC Zombie by Night Owl Productions by Justin Mabry. Like I said again, you can get this this same uh, sculpt um, by uh, Trick or Treat Studios right now called Craig Moore. But, um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, that'll do it for this one. Peace. Till next time. Fuck you.